Hey Gemini, I'm Empress Rose and welcome to your general reading. Take what works and what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. If this doesn't resonate with you, then check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I wouldn't recommend checking all of those though because I think that could get overwhelming and confusing. So if one doesn't resonate with you, move on down the line to other things that, that, that might and you can find some insights for yourself in those other things. Um, all of these have been thoroughly shuffled um, for you uh, before I turn on the camera. So uh, we're going to start with the Oracle Mystical Moments deck, uh, which I am fiddling with here, uh, to get an intuitive start to the reading. All right. What do we have for Gemini this week? And by this week, I mean whatever week you find this video. What do we have for Gemini this week? Message for Gemini. Hmm. Okay, if you don't want to say anything, then I'm going to have to. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, you got this one last time. This uh, caravan, you pulled the, you got this one last time. Uh, that's exciting. I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but I am. Um, a long way home. So you've pulled up anchor. You're, you've launched. You're starting on a new journey. And this elephant here, I had an epiphany about him the other day, and. Um, I can't remember what it is anymore. It's something that's usually very grounded, but it's it's up high now. It's in an unusual space. So you've pulled up anchor and you're on a journey that's a little bit more, um, that's really out of your comfort zone for you. You are very much out of your comfort zone. Unlike the elephant in the tower card, uh, a long way home. This is a choice you've made. You have pulled up anchor. Um, and and you're on a journey that is new to you. It's not your comfort zone at all. It's new to you. There are others here with you. You're on you have sort of this caravan of balloons. Uh, you're not moving tremendously fast right now, but you've made the original decision, the first decision to pull up anchor and launch. Um, as you go home, you're going to, so this is a card of, um, your home is wherever you are, but yet you are also going someplace for sure. So you have this home with you. It's illuminated. Uh, you have protection here. This is, um, you have things that you're going to want to say eventually, but right now they're just along for the ride. You have things you want to talk about eventually but um so this is you know you're going to be at home as you're heading home so this is like uh, making a decision and um it's disruptive and you're waiting for spirit to move you you have to wait for spirit to move the balloon because the balloon only moves um at the will of the wind so you you need you need spirit to to guide you forward and move you forward uh but you you made the initial decision and the rest is out of your hands uh you are going to a, a new home situation a new new um a different place <laughs> you're going somewhere but you are also um going to feel at home as you go there it's really strange you're going to feel at home even though it's a totally new environment for you okay here you have lullaby so this is this uh internal quietness um you can't see where you're going okay so you're not again we have this this not unseeing energy you, you don't know where you're going yet that's some that's up to to something else this is a pause you're not making music right now you're not talking this is a lot of silence here um, a lot of introspection uh, a lot of self-reflection a lot of self-reflection uh, something that's usually um, 
This is like if you usually listen to music uh, for your introspection and find that, then you're not right now. You're finding a lot of inspiration in silence and quietness and solitude. Um, you can't see where you're going and you don't care that you can't see where you're going. It's like, it's like you, um, it's just a lot of stillness and self-reflection. And there's stillness in this card and there's stillness in this card. There's not a lot of movement forward. And then here we have this Lorelei card. This is not my favorite card. Um, there's an immature um, energy afoot here. And this could be something deep within you uh, because we have this, um, this water deep within you and then we have this mermaid here um, that is playing in the water. So this is an immature energy that's kind of jerking things around, um, panicking people a little bit. Um, uh, this is again a pulled up anchor. You may have pulled up anchor out of, out of um, a sense of playfulness or a sense of spite or, um, and it's freaking a lot of people out. Uh, there's a lot of people are a little disturbed. I mean, there's two anchors here and both of them are in the air. Okay. So, um, and, and one of them, we have this, you know, this, this elephant is very discombobulated, but here we have these people kind of this boatload of people kind of getting jerked around and they're a little bit freaked out right now. They're not really enjoying this. And I'm wondering if this is you, I'm getting a lot of vibe that this is you because you pulled up anchor. She pulled up anchor. He's got this water, she's in water, you know, this, this, there's this little bit of a, um, a playful energy here and it usually comes off as immature and a, so you could be, because I mean, these people are kind of panicked and aren't very happy and you're playing a game or you're just having fun and nobody else here is happy about it. They're kind of all a little freaked out about it. Uh, so I think there might be some sort of impish feeling inside of you that has caused you to pull up anchor. Um, and we'll see where this goes because really, you know, now that you've pulled up anchor, you've got to wait on things completely outside of your control to move you forward. Um, and, uh, and these people are definitely a little freaked out and scared and worried about what you're going to do next and what your next move is. All right, let's go to the Santa Muerte Tarot. Um, so these again have been very thoroughly pre-shuffled. This is my, um, my, uh, I'm at the end of the high dive and I don't quite want to dive in shuffle. That was me as a kid. I was always the one that wanted to be brave and wanted to go to the end of the high dive and then would climb back down or start crying. <laughs> Someone would have to push me off or, which didn't help for next time. Like, cause that's scary. Someone pushing you off much like these guys here who are like, uh, yeah, I wasn't ready for that. So, um, or the teacher would come and hold my hand and somehow that was somehow going to make smacking the water much better. Oh, there's somebody I barely know and met last week holding my hand. Anyway, so that's a little bit of this shuffle. Gemini, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape. What's that issue, your environment, your to-do list and your possible outcome damn okay we've got we've got some good clarification here holy crap yep yeah. in your recent past you had you have this eight of wands card you have this rapid movement lots of communication i'm going to say this is the pulling up anchor you moved fast fat you fast forwarded everything um it wasn't necessarily terrible what you did or what, what's gone on in your past it's just a lot of movement fast forwarded um just things changed very quickly. Maybe a lot of communication happened very quickly. Um, and just this, this is just a rapid forward movement. Things moved, 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 moved. Um, you were the driver behind it. You made these decisions to pull up anchor, to move, um, to move this forward, to move this fast. You made all of those decisions. Uh, this is something coming out of your mouth. Um, these things are coming with you. So you made a decision and you moved very quickly. Now you're starting to think about it a little more. This is your, um, this is the page of cups. Uh, you're, you're keeping your emotions to yourself, but you're definitely the someone, it could be you. I think it's you, but someone here is really looking into their emotions and how they feel about all this. We pulled up anchor. How do we feel? This could be these people in the boat that are like, 
Uh, we are inexperienced with dealing with our emotions right now and we're a little freaked out because the page is the learner. So you, someone here is learning about feelings and learning about and very curious about their feelings and very curious about how they feel. And this is a deeply feeling card, of course. So we have some deep feels here and we're looking at them and trying to understand them. Your inner landscape, you're depressed. Um, yeah, this is like, I don't like anything here. This isn't, none of these options seem good. I don't like anything. You've got your guitar there, but you don't feel like playing it. Uh, you've got, you're dealing with some inner demons, some drain, you're feeling very drained, um, very unhappy with your current options, your current situation. You've got everything you want right there, but um, party's over. This isn't fun anymore. You, don't, you, you drank everything. You're maybe like passing out in your seat a little bit. This is definitely a party's over vibe. None of this is fun. I'm not having fun anymore. Uh, I think this is the like, I pulled up anchor. No, what the fuck? I don't even know that I want to be here. I don't, I'm not sure I like this. I'm not sure I like where I'm at. I mean, look at there's water. There's all this water here. We're having a lot of cups. So there's a lot of feelings here. Um, and not, yeah. You're really in your feels here. Um, but you don't, your inner landscape is, is kind of depressed, kind of drained. The excitement's over. The party's over. Now what? Now what do I do? Being drunk was fun for a little while, and now I'm starting to pass out, and it's just not fun. I'm just tired now. I don't really like this. I pulled up anchor, and now I'm just floating here in the air, and I pulled up this anchor to this boat. I don't know what to do with it. Everyone's freaking out on me. I don't know. So that's a little bit of the vibe I'm getting here. And uh, at issue is this Ace of Swords. You don't, you're not getting the inspiration you were hoping to get. You're not in feeling inspired. You're not getting the communication you wanna get. You're not getting the messages you wanna get. You wanted some sort of um, epiphany or some sort of new truth to come in or some, some something sharp and clear and, and sort of divinely guided. You wanted you wanted a nice, clear direction to the wind here. You didn't get that, and it's causing an issue um, because you you're feeling very the the issue is there's no there's no clear new direction. I mean you 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 pulled up anchor, and there's nothing. There's no movement. There's no clarity. There's no inspiration. There's no inspiration. You are very uninspired. Uh, and you're really looking at that and really questioning that and, and maybe questioning why you pulled up anchor. If all these people are unhappy about it, why did you pull up anchor? Um, in your environment, there's the moon. There's not a lot of clarity here. Uh, but we're having the moon here as well. Um, and this moon is to me is about self-reflection. And here you are, you're you need to go find some water, honestly, and go sit by the water and do some self-reflection. In your environment, it's just this whole, there's a lot of darkness. There's a lot of lack of clarity, a lot of lack of what happens next. Um, you can't see very clearly. There's reflection upon reflection upon reflection. It's all kind of seeming like smoke and mirrors, and there's a definite lack of clarity here. Could I say lack of, why don't I say lack of clarity one more time? Will that make it clear? Um, and so normally this is like quite a, a deep introspection card, a deep self-reflection card. Um, and we have this self-reflection in the lullaby. So the, you know, the moon, cause the moon, um, reflects the light of the sun and then the light of the moon is reflected in this pond and it's not even a full moon, it's a partial moon. So there's just, um, we're, we're, we're separated from our clarity by several layers here, not by, by it being nighttime, so the clarity's on the other side of the world, by, it, by the moon being not full, so we don't have that much clarity there. We're not even looking at the moon anyway, we're looking into this water, so there's not much clarity, but, but as she sits here in this water, the water becomes clearer. It settles, she can see herself. This is the only fleshed being in this deck and she can see she's starting to see into the situation she's starting to see herself and see her bone structure and see who she is underneath all of this stuff so your environment is is very unclear 
uh, of what's going on. Um, I think this is why everyone's a little freaked out. It's very unclear with this, this, this little, your little inner mermaid that got all restless up here, uh, what she wants to do. Um, and, it, and it's freaking people out. So your environment's really definitely pointing to um, a lack of clarity, a lack of, of <laughs> clarity. What, what else is there to say here? So we'll move on. To-do list is the hanged man. This, this to-do list is like, uh, sit down and let the situation ripen. Yeah, you pulled the banker. You're here now. You're up here now. Yep. And there you will sit until this thing comes in. Um, so you are, you're the hanged man. You're, you have to ripen. You have to hang out and ripen and let the changes happen within, not without. So, so even though I'm seeing like this external environment is one way the change has to happen within before the outer uh, environment can change so you need to get in touch you need you need to do this um this self-reflection getting in touch with your feelings and it looks like you are but this is just saying take no movement do nothing i mean this is this is all very clear here to me is is you're not to move forward you're supposed to sit with what with with the decisions you've already made you already had this, like, this can't go on forever. You already had this quick movement and you need to sit with it and let your sort of soul ripen into this new situation. You need to be um, finding your insight. There's a storm around you. There's some stagnation also somehow. There are, things have just stopped around you um, and there is no movement. The wind isn't moving anything. The wind isn't coming in to, to move you forward, even though you made this early decision to pull up anchor. Everyone's on a time out right now. So this is the time out. This is like when you have to go to your room and think about what you did, or I'm not saying you did anything terrible. Um, I'm just saying that whatever decision you made, you need to go um, do a little thinking, a ripening, your soul needs to ripen a little bit into this situation and and you're just going to hang out here this is your to-do list hang out here and uh get in touch with your intuition learn keep looking at your emotions keep feeling keep self-reflecting and and you're going to grow because your possible outcome here is the queen of wands so this could be you this is i think this is you or this is a part of you uh, that's gonna that is gonna call you forward. It's got this bright idea. It's got this candle. It's got a bright idea. It's got some inspiration. You're gonna be called forward out of the stagnancy and out of the self reflection eventually. So you may be feeling depressed. You may be not liking where you and your decisions brought you right now. And this is saying, hold on. You've got a lot of inner work to do here. Hold on, but it's not gonna last forever. Okay, she's coming in. And she's going to call you forward. You're going to have this inspiration. You're going to have this um, teacher. I want to call her a teacher uh, who's going to come in and, um, and, and help guide you out of the stagnancy and out of this, this situation where you're just kind of hanging out. It's just like you made, you made a decision and it's not um, maybe fairly hastily. You made a decision, it's freaked a bunch of people out. You, need, you don't like where your options are from here. You're not seeing the clarity of your next steps. You thought your next step was gonna be incredibly clear and it's just not. And it's not coming in the way you wanted it to. So you need to just sit, hold tight, let the situation ripen, let yourself ripen into the situation, but allow the place where you're at to mature you, okay? Because this is an immature vibe here. This is an immature, um, not immature, like this sounds, sounds like I'm calling you out a little bit and maybe I am, um, but I don't mean to, I'm just reading the cards. Um, so whatever sort of immature, and I don't mean that in the worst possible way, there's a lot of ways to be immature or inexperienced, whatever inexperienced uh, impulsiveness or, or, or thing led you to this, it wasn't entirely wrong. This, that's the eight of wands. And then we have the queen of wands. So you're just in this, this space of pause, grow, kind of think about what you did and, um, 
And the, the next step isn't very clear right now at all. Okay, that's what we've got. The next step isn't clear. It's freaking some people out and it might be freaking some part of you out. But you need to ripen, you need to mature, you need to grow um, as, the situ as you're waiting for the situation to change. Let yourself grow. Um, uh, actively look for that. And then you do have this, this teacher vibe um, who's bringing you forward into an inspired, um, more inspired part of this journey and this path. So this is one of our possible outcomes. Someone or part of yourself um, is gonna show up here with a light to guide you and is gonna guide you to a better place. It's gonna guide you forward on this journey that you kind of already like started. Okay, so that wind is going to start blowing. Okay, and there might be a person that comes in that um, that does that brings that um, you know brings that candle in, brings that light in to help bring you forward into more clarity and um, and helps move this journey forward. But for now, you're staying put and you're you're digging deep for your wisdom and your intuition. That's all you got to do this week. All right, Gemini. I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, and uh, thank you so much for your likes and comments and subscribes and all of that. It's very exciting for my little baby channel to grow like that bit by bit. I find it very inspiring. Um, so thank you so much for being such great watchers. So uh, have a great week, Gemini.